All right, Shalom Yashua, Shalom Israel, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Barak Atham, Barak Abanawa, Yahweh Bashem, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right, may the Most High bless you and yours for checking out the video, and um, all praises to the Most High and His beloved Son. My name is Ayashima from the Hebrew Israelite gathering down here in the Carolinas. All right, I'm in Virginia right now. Um, I'm also from the uh, Truth to Die camp. All right, so shal Shalom to the brothers in the Truth to Die camp. And Shalom to all the brothers and sisters seeking the most high sincerity and truth. Alright? That's who some of you call God and some of you call Jesus. Alright? Now, I want to hit you with a quick lesson. Alright? Concerning the heathen. Okay? Um, because, alright, the most high, the most high has already told you that he's going to recompense the iniquity of the heathen upon their heads. Alright? And it's going to be a sore, sore destruction and calamity that comes upon them but all right a lot of brothers get carried away with it and they think they can act you know all kind of ways in the in the, in the current time they can treat these heathen how they want to treat these heathens and and da, da 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 so on and so forth and um you know the scriptures tell you not to carry yourself out like that you know what i mean I, I brought up the example in another video you know you you walking inside the gas station of the store you know what I mean? And, and, and a heathen is behind you, so you slam the door on their finger. You know what I'm saying? You don't. That's not how you carry yourself out here in, in, in the world. So, in order to create a balance or show brothers a balance, all right, with with in, in, in doing that, all right, I'm gonna pull a couple of scriptures and try to make an attempt to show you that when we deal with these heathens, man, it's not all about blood and guts and ripping their heads off, all right. So with that being said. The first scripture I'm going to hit for you today is um, Philippians 4, and I'm going to start at verse uh, 3. It says this, And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow. You, you, yoke fellow means like somebody that wears the yoke of, of pushing the gospel. He was basically saying like fellow laborer, a brother in the, in, in the truth that labors with me. Because uh, the ox wears the yokes, all right? And we, they, they, they work, they plow. They, they plow for the harvest and we are uh, uh, sent down here to, 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 um, to bring forth fruit to the harvest. It says this, help those women which labor with me in the gospel with Clement also and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. All right, and the reason why I started up there is to show women that you can labor in the, in the Lord. All right. Now you it's you got to find out how you can do that. All right, maybe I do a sit down on it later, or so maybe another brother or laborer will do a sit down on it. But you women, there are certain things that you can do to labor in the gospel. All right, verse four. This is the point. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. All right, so you got to be moderate. And temperate when you're dealing with things, dealing with the scriptures, all right? Like I said before, dealing with the heathen ain't all blood and guts and ripping their heads off every time you see one of them, all right? Every time you see some heathen or whatever, you got your, your face all sneered up like you like some stink, okay? The Most High said a uh, uh, false balance is an abomination to the Most High. And in no way am I, um, am I uh, trying to validate or justify like the heathen in any other kind of way because if anybody that knows my history and doing the work i seen my videos in the past with the camp or my camp's videos all right i don't like the heathen all right i didn't cuss the many heathens out all right plenty of times and told them that they want nothing gum on the bottom of my shoe all right and brothers know that uh the brothers down there in florida can testify that you know what i'm saying i lost my voice down there doing the work bringing out scriptures all right uh, um 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 on the on the destruction and and calamity that's coming up on the heathen. All right, my my voice went out reading the scriptures aloud. All right, about the heathen. All right, but I'm gonna give you a balance and show you, like I said, that when you're dealing with the heathen, it ain't all about blood and guts, man. You gotta learn how to be diplomatic and a leader. See, it's like a lot of you never been in charge of anything. All right, so you think you could just bulldoze and use brute force? All right, uh, um, because the Lord's gonna. Don't you think, David? David could have used all the brute force he wanted to, all right? David's mighty men said that if he died, it was going to be like losing a thousand soldiers, okay? He could have used brute force all he wanted to, but I'm going to show you how David used the heathen to his advantage because that's what you're supposed to be doing, man. You got to use the heathen, 
All right, if if you got if you need to, to use the heathen to fulfill the ways or the or the, or the, or the will of the Lord, you got to do that, man. All right, it's not all about cutting their heads off. Now, I want to hear the first two couple of scriptures. All right, and I'm a, um I'm gonna just be playing it straight up. They 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 aim towards somebody, you know what I'm saying? But I I guess this would be my way of bringing my issue to them first. And if not, you know what I mean? Two three witnesses can be provided. And, it, and taking it in front of the church can be provided also now Because, you know, you had somebody make a video about me Alright, saying the heathen this, the heathen that But, um, I was actually blocked from commenting on that video I don't know why, but, you know, I just want to present these scriptures Start out with, this is First Kings um, 8 and 41 real quick The scripture says this Moreover, concerning a stranger that is not of thy people but cometh out of a far country for thy name's sake, for they shall hear of thy great name and of thy strong hand and of thy stretched out arm, which ye shall come and pray toward this house. Hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place and do according to all that the stranger calleth to thee for, that all the people of the earth may know thy name to fear thee as do thy people Israel, and that they may know that this house which I have builded is called by thy name. Alright, so that scripture clearly differentiates between the children of Israel and some other people. Alright, so you do have heathen out here that, 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 that sincerely believe in the, in the name of the Most High. If they don't at this current time, they will and they have before in history. Okay? Because you got guys talking about, oh, they can't come into the congregation. Oh, they can't pray to the Lord, the heathen this, the heathen that. Well, break down that scripture to me. Now, this is... um. Deuteronomy 21 and 10 And I hit these scriptures in my last sit down But like I said I was prevented from commenting on This individual's videos Alright So I'm going I'm to just present these scriptures to them again This is on, on marrying women from other nations right here Alright Out of the law of Moses This is Deuteronomy 21 and 10 Like I said I'm presenting these scriptures So that brothers that disagree Can break down these scriptures to me Okay the scripture says this, Deuteronomy 21 and 10. When thou goest forth to war against thy enemies, and the Lord thy God have delivered them into thy hands, and thou hast taken them captive against uh, uh, Salak, and seest among the captives a beautiful woman. Now, of course, the Lord didn't teach us to put each other into captivity. So this obviously isn't talking about uh, people whose lines go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's talking about people from another nation, different nations. And seest among the captives a beautiful woman, and has a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to thy wife. Then thou, then thou shalt bring her home to thine house, and she shall shave her head and par her nails. And she shall put on, put the raiment of, of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in thy house, and bewail her father and her mother a full month. And after that thou shalt go in unto her, and be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. And it shall be if thou have no delight in her, then thou shalt let her go whither she will. But thou shalt not sell her at all for money, but thou shalt um, not make merchandise of her because thou hast humbled her. All right. Now from there, we're going to go to Genesis uh, 16 and uh, 1. And I'm going to show you examples of where some of our forefathers uh, had wives from the other nations. Okay. I do scriptures, man. I ain't make like ain't making none of this. I'm not pushing no doctrine. I don't have no doctrine. All right, my doctrine is uh, well, I have a doctrine, and it's and it's found in Matthew's chapter 22. All right, love the Most High and love your neighbor as you would yourself. Okay, that's my doctrine. All right, my goal when I do videos or when I go in the street and teach with the camp is not to put forward a doctrine. My 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 um my goal or whatever is to put forth scriptures. All right, sort of like in a Bible study sense. My hope is that people watch these videos and they have their Bibles out with them and they're following along and marking these scriptures and then going back and reading over, you know, the whole chapter or the whole book on their own. Okay? The scripture says this now, Genesis 16 and 1. Now Sarai, Abram's wife. All right, just talking about our father Abraham. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, bear him no children. And she had a handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. All right, Egyptians are not Israelites. All right, their line goes back to Mizraim and Ham. Okay, our line.